Hello there, dear YouTubers. My name is King1993, and today is another day of me trying to explain another mecha in this game. And today's mecha will be called Caramel. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now this mecha is actually a free to play mecha, so you do not have to use any gold coins to actually get this mecha. Okay, now when it comes to the ability, do understand that uh, the primary weapon of this mecha can be used in two forms. One of them is called heavy boom, another is called repulsor. Okay, this heavy boom is uh, extremely uh, low speed attack and, and has uh, some other problems which I will be talking about in the battlefield. Okay, now this repulsor is actually a lot more accurate. So, yeah, uh, the this repulsor is a weapon which can be uh, what should I call it? okay sorry about that this is the the heavy bomb it can only be used in tank form so this is the tank form okay and uh, this one is a normal attack this normal attack can only be used in the bear form and this is the bear form okay now this is the secondary attack the secondary attack can only be used in bear form this is normal jump normal jump can only be performed in bear form and this is tactical jump so rocket jump or whatever it is called it is basically the tactical skill of this mecha which allows this mecha to uh, land on a very far distance or on a very higher distance okay and last but not least is the transform this mecha is able to transform and this basically gives this mecha the ability to use two different attack modes okay now uh, that is basically explained here now in order to further demonstrate how to use this mecha i will be going to the training ground to give you guys a proper idea of what is actually happening okay so First of all, uh, let's uh, talk about the modules. Now, the modules of this mecha is made in such a way that some of them are useful and some of them are better not to use. Now, when it comes to the core one and core two, all of them are good. Okay, uh, one is uh, let's say core one is for uh, bear form. It will make the bear form a lot more powerful, and the second one, rapid volley, is gonna make the tank for more powerful so both of them are good okay nothing else to say here now when it comes to the primary uh when it comes to the attack module the attack module i want you guys to use is the uh, blazing meteor okay now do understand that i don't use this mecha on a regular basis i am just using this mecha to give you guys a demonstration how you can make the game a lot easier so why would you use this because the primary attack of this mecha is actually extremely slow and in order to make it uh, faster, you must need to use this blazing meteor. It will make the attack 30% faster. Okay. And when it comes to the this one is uh, uh, explodes a heavy bomb explosion range. Okay. So it basically means in tank form, it is going to be having a wider range of attack. So I suggest that you do not use this because the range of attack of the tank form is already very high so no need to use this okay now when it comes to the defense module i suggest that you use air shield instead of cannon because in tank form you will be receiving less attack but if your uh, shield durability is destroyed then obviously you must need to gain it as fast as possible and to do a tactical jump it will basically destroy this so yes from that point of perspective air shield is going to be more useful now this one is super leap now super leap uh, it basically makes this uh, mecha able to jump 60% uh, more distance and this one basically uh, makes the mecha uh, get back now i suggest that you do not use this why let's say you are fighting against a mecha which is on top of a certain tower and you use the secondary attack then what will happen is it will make the enemy mecha fall backwards and i will not be able to shoot back at the enemy mecha now unless you are, are basically shooting back the enemy mecha in the water only then this one is useful otherwise this one is not very useful okay so that is basically it for the uh, modules okay now let's go to that uh, corner over there to actually talk about this mecha's ability to do long range attack now when it comes to long range attack if the enemy is smaller than the uh, crosshair then obviously that is a uh, long distance so when it comes to long distance attack the primary weapon is actually not very accurate okay not all of the attacks are get, gonna get hit now even though it has taken a large quantity of damage that is a different topic but most of the attack is not gonna get hit okay so you have to be careful about that so what can you do can the secondary attack actually do 100 percent accuracy no the this one has a limitation of range limit okay it will basically not 
hit the enemy mecha after a certain limit. But only in this tank form, if you are able to uh, understand how this tank form works, then only you will be able to use this tank form 100% uh, accuracy in a 300 meter distance. So yeah, that is basically how this mecha works. In order for you to actually use this mecha, you must need to use this tank form to actually gain a lot more advantage of it, okay? Otherwise, it is not gonna work, okay? So that is for the long range now. What about uh, the short range? Now, when it comes to the short range, sorry, not short range, I mean mid range. If the mecha is bigger than the crosshair, then that is basically means a mid range. So when it comes to the mid range, the primary and the secondary attack, all of them are good. No doubt about that. You can use both of them very easily. Now, I do suggest that you do not use this uh, tank form because even though this tank form is actually very easy to transform into and transform out, I still suggest that you do it on a very short basis because it does do a lot of damage but uh, don't do it on a continuous basis because if the enemy is able to understand how you use this mecha obviously they are they will try their best to counter you and you, you might get destroyed as a reason of that okay so what can you do about that uh, i suggest that you train yourself to see when you can use it properly or not that is basically skills you have to obtain by yourself okay now when it comes to the sh uh, short range attack in short range attack there is a certain thing that you must need to do whatever you do act uh, f uh, make sure that when you try to go to the short range do not use your tactical skill so when you are suddenly approaching an enemy or the enemy is suddenly approaching you you can basically use the primary weapon and the secondary weapon and if the enemy mecha suddenly attacks uh, you and then your durability is destroyed just uh, jump on them because jumping on them will destroy the uh, shield and also at the same time we'll be able to do about 400 more damage to the enemy so yeah that is basically why you should be you should be using the tactical skill when you are near them because it will basically destroy their shield as well as their normal durability and will be basically giving them 400 percent of total damage and will also be restoring your shield durability at the process okay so yeah that is basically how you should be using this now let me give you another demonstration attack attack and then a jump okay again another try okay let that mecha come here uh restore again okay shoot shoot jump normal jump leap and then shoot again okay so even if you do not land on them no problem with that uh at least the shield durability is gonna recover okay now as for using the tactical skill however there is a certain problem the tactical skill uh, allows this maker to go up to a distance of about 77 meters that is not the main point here the main point here is to understand how this tactical skill works so when you use this tactical skill it basically sees where uh this maker can jump and what is the total distance of it okay and then it will be able to jump there now it will jump only in the place where the um, uh, marking is otherwise it is not gonna jump in any other place okay <sighs> now the problem with that this is that you cannot jump uh beyond defense you have to jump on over defense so you have to keep that in mind now another thing that you can do about this tactical skill it's let's say if you are near a certain object you can jump and then use this tactical skill to get on the opposite side of the uh, fence without landing on the fence okay so that, that is another thing method that you can use okay so what can you do if you were to suddenly run away from the battlefield if you are suddenly running away from the battlefield okay but do remember that you have to be near an certain object because running in the open field uh, like this is gonna be the least of your thing because it will basically make your mecha a lot more uh, susceptible to enemies attack uh, so don't uh, run in the open field you should be always uh, behind a certain object so that when a certain me mecha is suddenly attacking you or enemy suddenly attacking you you can use the tactical skill to jump over defense okay so that is basically how you should be running away from the battlefield now in case if you're wondering okay can you use this ability while you are on a trampoline yes you can for example i jump here and then i'll be jumping at that place over there 
How did I do that? I basically use the tactical skill media. That that is all. Okay, so yeah, that is uh the thing. Now, other than that, the other question remains is can this mecha survive on water? Like uh, uh can this mecha survive underwater battle? Well, uh, the thing is, this mecha cannot survive underwater battle. The problem with that is, uh, let's say the water level is about uh, 70 meters high, and this mecha cannot jump over 70 meters high. Even if it can, it can only do a normal jump. But this jump, this normal leap or tactical skill, it cannot shoot at the process. So that is uh, another problem. So if you are having a, a battle under the water, your chances of survival is going to be extremely low. Okay, extremely low to the point, let's say zero. Now, in case of doing sneak attack, the uh, sneak attacking of this mecha is actually very good. So, how do you do the sneak attack? You normal jump and then you secondary attack. It will do about 500 damage or maybe 600 damage, okay? So, yeah, that's the thing about this mecha is you will be able to do a lot more of this sneak attack. And it is, uh, it is actually very fun because you are basically destroying the enemy mecha's durability by... Uh, 600 points okay now another sneak attack is let's say you are on top of a certain building you change into your uh, uh, tank form and then you will be able to shoot them without them actually be able to shoot you back why because what is happening is you are basically shooting using your uh, eye point of view basically speaking if you need, even if you cannot see them you will still be able to shoot them okay or even if uh, they can't see you, you still should be able to shoot them very easily. So uh, this is one of the sneak attack technique that you can use on these mechas, okay? Now, uh, when it comes to sneak attack from the side, this mecha is actually not the very best. So well, let me give you a demonstration of what I actually mean by that. So let's say I am near a certain fence and I'm gonna try to attack the enemies. Can this work uh, very easily? No. So as you can see here, I can see the enemy mecha, but some of my attacks are actually getting blocked. Okay. What about the secondary attack? Same problem. In order to shoot them, I must need to be in middle of the gate. So sneak attack from this place is actually not worth it. Okay. Yeah. So that is basically it of how uh, you could be using this mecha to actually gain greater advantage of the this mecha's ability and you will be able to destroy the enemy mechas very easily now another thing i that i must need to tell you is just because this mecha is a lot available in the bot in the beginning part of this game you might think that this mecha is almost useless right no this mecha is not useless it's just that these the bots of this mecha are so much that you will think that this mecha is useless this mecha is actually not useless it is the experience of the player that will determine whether this mecha is actually useful or not, okay? Now, uh, I have talked about a lot uh, about this mecha in the training room. Now, let's talk about the mecha mods. Now, the mecha mods which I have given to this mecha are the following, okay? Let's see. Uh, range attack, rapid mag, optimal, uh, optimal reloading, and efficient transmission. So, this core has the ability to lower the reloading time even lower okay and this too has the combat skill recovery basically speaking this will basically give the mecha the ability to uh use the combat skill as efficiently as possible okay and also this uh rapid mech and this uh and this quick uh cooldown will basically give the secondary weapon recovery a little bit faster recovery time so yeah that's basically it. now when it comes to uh the pilot skill uh there are a lot of pilot skill and i'll be talking about all of them first of all let's talk about uh, the nings capability the nings capability is basically able to give uh, more durability okay now this is not worth it because not being able to protect durability is the main problem here so if you have some ability that can basically protect the enemy so protect your mecha durability then obviously that is good so which is why ning is not a very good option rom is a very good option because rom has the ability to lower the combat skill or tactical skill of a mecha so yeah your mecha will be then able to do tactical uh skill a lot often okay 
and this one is not uh, for this mega because uh, caramel cannot stay in the air for a longer period of time so obviously from that point of regards uh expedious uh, charge is not, not actually the best one now this is one of the best example it basically turns uh mecha durability to uh 10 percent of shield durability so you will have more shield and the more shield you have the more your mecha will be able to survive this one will have the ability which will basically restore your mecha's durability 20 durability every four seconds which is also very good okay this one is not the best even though this uh is basically the owner of the caramel mecha the problem with this one is in order to make your, your mecha strong you must need to destroy your mecha's durability that is a bad example okay <laughs> uh, this one uh, doesn't work uh, it is a different uh, reason uh, that is because there is no debuffing actually happening no lightning uh, extra lightning damage dealing debuffing or let's say no extra uh, fire damage dealing which is happening to the enemies so, which is why this is not going to be useful uh, this one is functional but it is useless why you'll be getting uh, uh 10 percent more movement speed only for three seconds which is extremely short and will have a cooldown of seven seconds but it can only be activated uh using a secondary weapon <coughs> it is way too restrictive so this is not the best one it, this is one of the worst one okay this is the same as ning capability so uh, nothing to say there this one uh has quick shield feature so what it basically means that if the shield of your mecha is suddenly destroyed okay then what will happen is your mecha will be able to restore their shield 20% faster okay uh 20% uh, shield recovery let's let's say uh it has uh caramel let's say have uh, how about 1000 so, suppose let's say 1000 durability and it takes basically uh 10 seconds to get all of the recovery done so what will happen is it will accelerate the process but also at the same time it will overall lower the cooldown rate of the recovery so basically speaking instead of getting let's say 30 percent more recovery happening within a short period of time it, the recovery will happen a lot faster if the recovery cooldown rate is to be even lower so it i like i don't know how to say it properly let's just say you are having 20 percent sorry let's just say you are having you are going to be having about 50 50 percent total uh fast uh shield recovery that is basically what i wanted to say okay now as for this one uh if you use the tank form of the caramel on a regular basis then obviously uh, this one is going to be able to give caramel uh 5.5 percent of total attack bonus if the enemies are 150 meters away it doesn't matter if it is a pilot or if it is a mecha all of the enemies are going to be taking 150 damage okay now if you want to do a mid-range or short-range battle then obviously especially in team deathmatch then this uh, reload is going to be a very good one so it is going to give your mecha about 100 and sorry not 100 32 percent of total uh uh, fast reload rate which is going to be extremely good uh, because in team deathmatch uh, having a uh, higher reload rate is obviously better now in uh this one this one is basically when you use uh effect for shield recovery skill improved by 15 percent uh for items okay so it basically means that whenever you use any type of recovery item it is gonna do about 15 percent more recovery okay so that is basically how it works okay <laughs> this one is also good because whenever you use caramel uh, tactical skill it is gonna hit the enemy with 125 damage to the mecha and 35 damage to the pilot cooldown is uh, 20 seconds if the cooldown were 10 seconds then it would have been better anyway this one is called uh change uh electroshock if you hit the enemy mecha with the secondary weapon then the primary weapon will gain 25 percent of total more uh, damage dealing for uh, seven seconds that is and it has a cooldown of nine seconds so obviously this one is a lot useful okay and because caramel uh, doesn't uh, float in the air okay uh, this one is totally useless is it is not gonna work okay and this one is if you 
do not attack for a longer period of time then only then it will gain 13 percent of total damage on the next attack i do not know how useful this is like uh, not attacking for hold off attacking hold of attacking so it basically means not attacking for nine seconds it is nine seconds is a lot of time and this from that point of perspective this is actually not the very best one it is functional but not the very best one okay so those are basically the pilot skill which i have shown you now when i say those are uh, uh which are one are the best one to use on caramel then the one which are used on caramel is going to be rom yori vita <laughs> uh ivan uh uh, Silver Deacon, Cyrus, Serena, Jui Chong, Norma. Okay, their abilities are gonna be the most useful one. Others are their abilities are not worth it or might not work on uh, caramel. For example, Yutong's ability is good, but it doesn't work on every mecha. Okay, so that's basically it is. So anyway, if you like this video, then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon. Because next time I will be talking about another mecha. Now, obviously, if it comes to alphabetical orders, then I guess uh, the next one which I will be talking about is Doomlight. Yeah, Doomlight is one of my favorite mecha, and the next video is gonna be long if it is a Doomlight video because I learned a lot of thing about Doomlight. It uh, takes about it takes a large quantity of time to actually understand how Doomlight works. Okay. So anyway, if you like this video, then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon so that I'll be able to give you guys more topics on how to use your megas properly in the next video. So goodbye and stay safe and see you again next time.